What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and the finishing point from our epic road trip. Seven days ago, myself and Seen Through Glass landed in Malaga to embark on a crazy road trip from the south of Spain all the way up into central France and across to Switzerland to the Geneva Motor Show. It is day one of the press day. I am super excited. Even though it is not the biggest motor show, it is by far the most exciting. Pretty much every single manufacturer brings their flagship unveils to here. Let's go head inside and check out some of the biggest and best and fastest supercars to be unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show. Hi. Mm. What do I need to show you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm getting excited already. This is looking pretty cool. About an hour into discovering the Geneva Motor Show, I realized that one, I'm very ill, two, I'm also very tired, and everything's catching up on me. So I'm gonna do my best. We're now heading up to uh, what I assume is the Volkswagen Group section of the Geneva Motor Show, where Lamborghini are gonna be announcing their brand new 1.6 million pound hypercar. Oh, it's just <laughs> a lot bigger than I was expecting. Chevy. We are about 10 minutes away from the big announcement and I can imagine this is going to be one of the biggest press conferences. No one has seen the car, they've only released a little video with a render. So, I mean the Bugatti's been seen, all of the cars pretty much have been launched before the show and are basically on display for the first time. However, Lamborghini have not shown their car yet, so let's go and check it out. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President and CEO of Automobile Lamborghini, Stefan Winkelmann. Buongiorno, signore e signori. It's so awkward that everyone here is using the Porsche stand to look at Lamborghini. So, Porsche will be annoyed. The car dedicated to Ferruccio Lamborghini, the Lamborghini Centenario.
I have found Mr. JWW. Exclusive. He is buying a new car. press conference behind we've got Nimrod there which produced some interesting cars to say the least we're gonna head over to Ferrari we haven't checked out the replacement FF which you're really excited well that was spontaneous my first meet Dog Gem 3 and it was on camera. Yeah. Oh, that was insane. And we've got the new Maserati SUV here, so let's check this out. That is the end of day one at the Geneva Motor Show. I have to say, it is a lot bigger than I was expecting and uh, some really, really epic cars. We're now being sort of ushered out this entrance number 55. Um, and we're gonna jump in a car, head back to the hotel. I'm gonna get this video edited and live for you guys so that you can watch it right now. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling a little bit better. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling a little bit better. Oh, I think we're gonna get in a Vignale, the new Ford Vignale. Hopefully I'm feeling uh, a little bit more with it, a little bit more switched on tomorrow. So after I edit this video, I'm probably gonna have a little nap and get some rest so that I can feel really fresh tomorrow so that we can make a second video, an even better video, get up much closer to the cars that uh, have been there because that was so packed. All of the press launches and everything, um, really, really crazy. So we're now in the car, on the way back. There's Sam. Um, you right, mate? You sound, you sound ill. I am. 
I don't think I mentioned it once in this video. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, hopefully you've enjoyed this video of a little bit of what Geneva Motor Show is like. And um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the second part of the Geneva Motor Show. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and then click subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, that's it from me. Cheers, guys.